In this tutorial, what we're going to do is practice finding the surface area of a rectangular prism. Now, surface area of any object is really just finding the individual area of each surface of the three-dimensional object and then taking those results and adding them together. And a rectangular prism is composed of six rectangles. We can take our three-dimensional rectangular prism and unfold it into a two-dimensional form to see that it is really composed of six different rectangles. So if we can just find the area of each one of those rectangles and then add them together, we can find the surface area of this object. One thing that we should be aware when dealing with rectangular prisms is that each surface has another surface that is identical in area to it. So if we look at these two surfaces, we can say that they are congruent to each other. So if we know the area of this rectangle, then we automatically know the area of this rectangle. And if we know the area of this rectangle, then we know the area of this rectangle. And of course, these two rectangles are congruent as well. All right, let's fold our rectangular prism back up and figure out what the surface area is. Now, if you take any single point of a rectangular prism and look at the three lines that emanate from that single point or corner, those will represent the three dimensions of the rectangular prism. So we could say that this is the length, the width, and the height. And you can really do that with any corner of the rectangular prism. If we were to select this corner, we could look at these three lines as representing the three dimensions of the rectangular prism. Now, if you look at this corner and the three lines that emanate from that single point, we should notice that it kind of forms a Y figure. So what we're going to do is take that Y figure and use it to calculate the surface area of our rectangular prism. So when calculating the surface area of any rectangular prism, the first thing that you can do is draw what looks kind of like a letter Y. And each one of these lines represents each one of the three dimensions of the rectangular prism the length, the width, and the height. So let's take our shortest line and write our smallest number, which is a number two. And then we're gonna put a number three here and a number five here. And it really doesn't matter which order you write these numbers, you will end up getting the same answer anyway. Now what we have to do is just select two numbers at a time and multiply them. So let's start with the two and the three. Two times three is six. And what we're gonna do is write that answer where these two lines converge on each other. Next, let's do three times five, which is 15. And two times five is 10. Now, what these three numbers represent are the areas of the front three surfaces. But remember, for each surface, there is an equal or congruent surface. For example, this top surface would be six square units, which means the bottom surface would also be six square units. And we would have two rectangles with an area of 15 and two rectangles with an area of 10 square units. So what we do after getting these three numbers is we take those and we add them together. But remember, this would just give us the area of three of the six sides. So by adding these together, we get 31 square units. Because these three surfaces have a total of 31 square units. That means the other three rectangles also have an area of 31 square units. So we can just take that number and double it. So we have already determined that the surface area of this rectangular prism is 62 square centimeters. So when finding the surface area of any rectangular prism, start by drawing a letter Y and then write the length, the width, and the height at the end of each one of these lines that form your letter Y, then we multiply two numbers at a time and write that product where the two lines converge. And then we take the resulting three areas, add them together, and take that result and double it. And that will give you the surface area of that rectangular prism.